Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and to another Forzathon guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week luckily is actually a really really easy one and it's very very quick and it's called Abarthanon and it wants you to use any Abarth car. Now like I said it's really really easy and I'm just going to breeze through this one. So there's about three or four different Abarths you can pick from. Uh, I ended up going for the Fiat 131 a bath but you can pick any of them it really doesn't matter what i would recommend doing though is tuning it up now as well these aren't rare cars or anything and they're pretty dirt cheap from the auto show but i'm sure most of you guys will have one now I have created a tune for the 131 Abarth, the share code is 130474339 and hopefully it should help you out with a couple of the challenges. Now the first challenge here just wants you to hit a top speed of 125 mile an hour in your Abarth. Now for the majority of them you will need to tune them, a couple of them you won't but it will take you a little while to get to 125 mile an hour but as you can see here it literally takes about 12 seconds to get over 125 mile an hour in fact not even 12 seconds so it's a really really quick first challenge there one of the quickest you'll ever see now the second challenge here just wants you to get nine stars from a danger sign so really you want to pick a danger sign where you can easily achieve three stars and then you'll only need three runs so i ended up using the ambleside edge three stars on here is only 650 feet and if you've got an attuned a bath you won't have to take a massive run up either as long as you're hitting well over about 135 mile an hour you should be able to get over 650 feet no problems whatsoever so as you can see here on the first run i got 787 feet and then i'll just fast forward driving back up turning around and doing it again and after you've completed that first run of over 650 feet you've just got to turn around and do it twice uh, again it doesn't really matter if you change danger signs or use the same one over and over that's entirely down to yourself but this ambleside edge one is a really good one to do it on now the final challenge again really easy just wants you to win two street scene events now like i said this is really easy and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want I always use the Batham Gate street scene event, reason for that is because I just know it at this point so I'm quite used to where all the bends are, where you've got a break etc etc and again you can do the same one twice or you can do two different ones, it's entirely down to yourself. I would again recommend tuning your bath for this one because you will be up against some stiff competition, that's the thing with street scene events, you're always going to be up against some ridiculous cars that you'd never normally be pitted up against so I definitely recommend tuning. And like I said, you can do it on whatever difficulty you want. It's not a festival playlist event, so you haven't got to do it on highly skilled driver tars. So you can do it on sort of amateur or medium, whatever difficulty really takes your fancy. But like I said, I would definitely recommend have a go at tuning your car because it will help you in the long run. So as soon as you win that first street scene event, all you have to do is go back to the start and do it once more. And that's the final Forzathon challenge complete. Hopefully this helped you out, um, although to be honest I'm sure at this point you're probably all experts at, at every single challenge that the Falls of Thon sort of events throw at you, but I will always continue helping you guys out. So like I said, hopefully it did help you out. Don't forget as well to stay tuned as in a couple of hours I will be releasing a video on this week's photo challenge, so I'll be releasing my photo challenge guide and hopefully again that should help you guys out. Now if you're new to the channel I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and if this video did help you out don't forget to drop a like as well. Apart from that folks I want to wish you all the best, stay safe and take care.